There's a lot of people that don't feel like they're completely in control. They're not CEOs of companies. They can't hire Brad Deitzer to come in and tell them what's going on because they look above themselves and they have a boss that, that they feel is not aligned with them um, or they're not aligned with their boss, et cetera. So the difficulty is there's a lot of people that can't make the decision to make the change. Um, so, you know, what does someone do if they um, see misalignment in their organization um, but they're not at the point where they can actually, you know, make a difference themselves as a leader. It's, that can be tough. It's a tough place to be in. Um, and, and I think we've all been there at some times in our, in our career. I start with a simple belief that, 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 that we sometimes live down to the titles that we have. Our company gives us titles. I'm an account manager. I'm a supervisor. I'm a frontline employee. I'm a. Um, I'm just in the warehouse. I'm a driver. I'm a on a oiler. I mean, you name it. I'm a nurse. I'm a doctor, and we live up to those titles and we live down to those titles. And so, the world around you're the leader in your own world. The world around isn't different than the leader of your organization navigating chaos and navigating change. And sometimes the leader of the organization doesn't think that they have the ability to change because things are swirling so fast around them. And so that cascades through the organization. And so my first bit of advice is to tell people to get rid of the title, to stop thinking about yourself in the in the um, whatever title of your of your of your company, and to think of yourself as the leader of you. When we empower ourselves to see ourselves as the leader, without mm -hmm. without the without the self, you know, um, well, I'm only the leader of this department. Well, you're still the leader. You know, you still have you you still have some measure of control. Um, so it, it's first of all, it's, it's how we how we see ourselves in the large larger kind of construct of our of our organization. Um, I am a person who believes that 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 part of misalignment occurs because there's not a hundred percent of the truth, um, and that we are operating. I see companies build strategies on 60, 70 percent of the truth. Um, the majority of companies don't really want to have the hard conversation. They don't want to have the honest conversation. DEI is too hard to talk about. If I say something in a meeting, then I might be canceled. I might be this. We can't run our companies that way. It's lunacy. And so part of this empowering people is to really understand in a respectful way how to talk to the supervisor above or the, the group above and framing things, sometimes not as observations, but as questions, how can we, what can we? And I think there's incredible power in questions where you empower the person above you by simply, I'm thinking about this. Can you help me think about how do we do this? And so you become the smartest person in the room by not having to be the smartest person, but by simply asking the right question that then gets you to a little bit more of 100% of the truth, a little bit more of that alignment. There's sometimes that, um, you know, that, that, that doesn't happen. And I tell people, you know, be clear on what is expected of you and work to achieve those, live up to those expectations and be aligned with yourself and your responsibilities. We sometimes get frustrated in organizations that, gosh, I can fix everything if they just let me. Um, but that's not the way organizations are built. So maintain your focus, work for hundred percent of the truth and, 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 and be the best question asker that you can be. I like that. See yourself as the leader of me. 